Hola, 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 buenos dias, good morning, beautiful planner babes, welcome back to the channel, it's your girl here, Daniela, la planning diva, I hope you're having a wonderful 4th of July week, I hope you had a great holiday weekend and holiday, there was so many fireworks in my neighborhood, it was amazing, I feel like all my neighbors were shooting off fireworks and... <laughs> It was a little sketchy and scary at times because I could feel things raining down on the roof, but um, all in all, I really enjoyed the fireworks show and I'm glad that I could see fireworks right from my backyard and um, I didn't have to worry about shooting off fireworks, which are illegal here in California. So anyways, um, today is going to be a short little video. I thought it would be fun to hop on here and... Um, unbox my cafecito design subscription box so i am signed up to support my favorite my fave cafecito designs this amazing sticker shop based out of los angeles california and she does amazing beautiful artwork um all surrounding like pan dulce so pan dulce in case you don't know is a traditional sweet bread in latin cultures I am Mexicana, so that's why it hits near and dear to my heart. Um, anyways, Cafecito Designs released a subscription box recently at the beginning of the year. And I think this is my fourth box I've received from her so far. But this subscription box is about $37 a month, which is a pretty steep price point in my opinion. But for me, I want to do it to support this creator and this brand. And so I am happy to pay that price. Well, I'm not happy, but you know what I mean. Anyways, let's get into the unboxing. Oh, and look, there's some details up here. It says signups are from the 10th through the 20th. The boxes will ship between the 21st and 25th. And I usually get mine pretty soon after it ships because I am, you know, only a few miles down from the shipping center. Usually the subscription box um, features completely exclusive stickers to the subscription box and they're always surrounding a particular theme. So last month, I think it was like farmer's market and fresh pan dulce. And usually you get a pack of stickers, some washi tape, and like a mystery bonus item. One box we got a tote bag, another box we got a keychain, and Cafecito Designs actually just changed their subscription box. They stopped providing washi tape because um, they've had issues with their manufacturer, but now they're providing extra stickers and a sticker sheet um, of washi strips. So there's that. Okay, so let's unbox this box. Um, ooh, look at this. So I already knew from spoilers online that this was going to be Harry Potter themed. And the mystery bonus item looks to be a sticker storage um, book. So I actually have one of these already. Um, not in this design, but in one of their other designs. Let me see. I think I actually have it right here with me. Yes, here we go. So this is the one that I have. And I love it so much. So cute. And I'm happy that, the, that she provided another one. This is a really good mystery item. And so it's just a little book full of sheets here. And it feels like the sticker sheets are a little bit stickier than the ones that she has provided or that she's sold previously, which um, I really appreciate because I feel like um, these sticker sheets weren't the most sticky and sometimes I had issue putting stickers down but these feel a lot stickier so I'm really excited to try these out and um this looks like it's Harry Potter themed so we have all the little witches down here very cute and it says I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good which is the quote that is on the Marauders map in Harry Potter. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. I've only watched, I think, four of the movies. I did read the books when I was, you know, in middle school, high school. Um, I don't remember them too well. I do remember enjoying them. They were fun reads. They were definitely fun. But I'm not a huge, huge Harry Potter fan. But I do appreciate this. I think this is such a cute cover and I am happy to use this. Okay, so next we have the sticker pack, and that is all that we have in the box. Okay, so let's open the sticker bag. Oh, ah, 
Okay, there we go. Let's pull all these out. And then, um, so first off, we have the journaling card. Super cute. I love collecting these from Cafecito Designs. Um, it's like a nice velvety matte finish. It again says that I solemnly swear that I am up to no good in the classic Harry Potter font. The little witches look super, super cute. And yeah, I think that's adorable. I love collecting those. And then in terms of the stickers, first off, we have a mini deco sheet. This is super cute. We have the girls, some sparkles, some conchas, her classic conchas. And this time they're in like the house colors. So a Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw concha. We have some cute little icons from the um, books. So we have the platform nine and three quarters, a little, you know, Hogwarts letter, the Deathly Hallows symbol, Harry's glasses, his scar, a Hedwig and a letter, the golden snitch, um, a broomstick, a wand, and more icons here. I don't remember what this little sunglasses, 3D sunglasses situation is. I don't remember that from the books. Let me know what why it is related to Harry Potter. And then the first sticker sheet here is full boxes. And then we also have like these quarter box strips. I love these. These are these are always my favorite stickers of the bunch. And then we have a sheet of full boxes, um, functional full boxes, and again the little strips. And then she has little icons um, in the boxes as well. And then we have a really functional sheet. This one is the checklists, the bookmarks, the teardrops, and some half boxes. And these are just nice and plain, but they're all in the, you know, uh, Hogwarts house colors, which is fun. And this is super cute. We have um, the days of the week, the weekday headers. And again, they're in the Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw colors. That's super cute. And then this is another functional sheet. We have one double box, some nice washi tape strips, some quarter boxes, habit trackers, and then a set of numbers for the um, for the weekday stickers. So I like to use these numbers in these um, circles for the weekdays. And then here's another sheet I really enjoy. This is just a full sheet of deco. It's the icons put in larger sizes. And again, I don't remember this at all. This like 3D feather glass. I don't know what that is. Okay, and then this is the monthly sticker sheet. We have some like financial stickers. So some pay the bill stickers, some nice quarter boxes. Um, this nice long sidebar and some longer stickers for the top of the monthly page. So this is a uh, sticker sheet really designed for the monthly page of planners. We also have the numbers over here, which correspond to the monthly calendar dates. And um, these stickers are perfect for her uh, planner, but you can definitely use them in any planner you so desire. So this is... Cafecito Designs Planner, and I took a break from this because I got kind of out of the habit of using this, but I was using this um, from the beginning of the year to track my like YouTube and small business and content creation. And um, here's an example of, uh, of a week that I was using this. And um, I had a lot of fun with this while I was using it, but it definitely, Kind of fell to the wayside when life got busier but um i think her subscription box started in i think in february so this is another example of a nice week that i planned uh, so this is an example of like a march monthly for her subscription box this month it was like lucky charm theme which was super super cute and these are the journaling um pages that i like to uh keep track of as you can see some weeks i set it up but i didn't use this i didn't use this at all i just set it up and then some days i definitely would use this more than others march was a rough month for me um oh this was good this theme was like rainbow unicorns um it was very cute and then look at that nothing but then I get into it a little bit more. Um, this week I was really in here. And then 
because this is an undated planner, she usually has like one blank set of pages at the end, sometimes two, depending on, you know, how many pages you use in the previous month. Oh, this was Disney themed. This is super cute. Journaling card. Anyways, you use this sticker sheet for the monthly. And then this is the sticker sheet of the washi tape strips. Because she's not including washi tape in the box anymore, she used to um, always include three rolls. Um, she's not including any more washi tape because um, she's been having trouble with her manufacturer. But now she's including these um, strips here. And she includes two sheets of these washi tape strips. And I was pretty bummed out when she decided to um, not include the washi tapes anymore because those are honestly some of my favorite parts of the box. But I totally understand like the struggles of small businesses and how um, you really have to be kind of flexible with small businesses. And at the end of the day, I purchased this box to support her business, not necessarily because I want to get my money's worth or I need more washi tape. God knows I do not need any more washi tape. So it probably is for the best that I just get these washi tape strips because I can use these um, pretty easily. Whereas like a roll of washi tape would probably take me, um, you know, a year or two to finish. Anyways, that is the entire box. It's very, very cute. I'm so happy with it. And it's kind of motivating me to get back into my Cafecito Designs planner. I kind of had um, a plan to do, to go back to a happy planner for my uh, YouTube stuff and, and small business stuff and content creation, but I wonder if I should just stick with the Cafecito Designs planner because it is super, super cute. Okay, everyone, that is the Cafecito Designs unboxing. I hope you enjoyed checking out this video. If you're interested in subscribing to this subscription box, definitely go check out Cafecito Designs. Overall, I'm very happy with this collection. I think it's very cute and adorable, and I can't wait to get into these stickers. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe. Blessings on you, your family, and loved ones. Have a wonderful time playing in your planners this week. And that's it for me. Happy plans. Adios.